Hey guys, and uh, welcome to the Ratchet and Clank playthrough. I've been meaning, been meaning to get this playthrough out the way and get started on this. It's actually one of my uh, most expected playthroughs to make ever since the Free 4 channel and this thing that happened there. I actually was getting a lot of views during that playthrough and I want to actually put that Ratchet and Clank Ratchet and Clank playthrough up on here. I know what I said my plans were to do. But like I, finished, like I said, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is about to be over soon and I want to actually get started on Ratchet and Clank because like I said, this is like, it's going to be an official three years since I actually beat the game and I actually want to go ahead and get a playthrough up. I'm not going to be able to finish it for that three year anniversary because this is going to take a while but I want to actually get a, um, get a playthrough of the game up on YouTube as soon as possible so I can kind of go back a year after this and be like, wow, that's my Ratchet and Clank playthrough I did and it took over blah 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 tries to actually do it. I really want to get started on this playthrough really bad. You guys don't even understand how bad I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the playthrough so we can go ahead and be set. So I'm going to click a new game here so I can go ahead and okay, erase this. Yes. And we quietly let you guys enjoy the first ever cutscene of one of my favorite playthroughs to actually start. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. And now emerges one of the best characters in video game history. <laughs> Throughout the game, most of it's gonna make sense if you just pay attention to most of the cutscenes. Approaching Ratchet's planet. It's his home planet. For the win. <laughs> And this is how one of the greatest video games of all time actually starts off as. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a Really? Okay, now Ratchet and Clank series is actually one of my favorite series of all time due to the fact that it's fun to play. Not so fun to watch, but it's about what I get from the experience and... Like I said, I learned a lot about this series. It actually, Ratchet Clank is a series that actually made me keep trying when I wanted to give up. I actually did mostly every achievement in this game. Not everything to 100%, but I'm like 78% done. I skipped those. I don't actually go back and play the game anymore. I will until now because I'm going to be doing it for the YouTube footage. Ratchet Clank is a, um, action, it's an action, uh, shooter. Action platformer, more or less. It's, it's it's new on the genre and it did the genre well. Ratchet can carry a buttload of weapons, such as the bomber glove. I call it the bomberman glove. I think it's a glove. Let me see. Uh, weapons. The bomb glove. The bomb glove is just a. Uh, it's it's what mostly all Ratchet and Clank games give you in the beginning. It's a glove bomb. I guess just chunk it and boom. The bolts. These are bolts they're used to purchase items and weapons in the game. Uh, let you go ahead and be aware, he can throw his wrench, he has a melee attack, what I just got was health, Ratchet can take four hits and then it's over for him. 
It sucks at first, but when you actually master the game, it's pretty much understandable that that you this I really need for health. The game didn't have a uh, dramatic uh, health health thing like it did in uh, Tools of Destruction or in Ratchet and Clank 3 up your arsenal and 2 going what was that? 2 going Commando I believe it's 2 and Deadlock and all that. Before all that came it was basically a health bar. Oh Ratchet and Clank 2 sort of did the health bar thing too but it wasn't. It was kind of like this but then it, yeah completely changed in 3. You're gonna want to get all the boxes. Get in the boxes. You're gonna need a shitload of money in the end of the game anyway. And a little secret little fact here you're gonna um you're gonna you're gonna see this planet at the end of the play for room two. Even though the planet's a fucking bitch. But I got I got I got that planned. I got planned what I'm gonna do if we ever get to the end. Cause you know what I mean. A lot of people put uh their ratchet and claim play thing on hiatus because it's a very long game. And, and it's kind of a um. Oh, who epic fail, dude. Really start all over. Fine, I'll just ignore the enemies. They're getting dramatic playthrough. Uh, dramatic playthrough, uh, <laughs> dramatic playthrough luck as the game starts. I'm getting that, uh, old playthrough luck. Jinx myself, it just happens to everybody. And yeah, at last melee is a lag attack. Can move actually die? Am I a noob at Ratchet and Clank? I usually beat these games, like, in two days straight. But, like, I was gonna tell you guys, I don't, um... I'm gonna be doing cause Sonic, the Sonic playthroughs are gonna be uploaded so fast, because those games are gonna be so quick. And I just was like, let's go ahead and do a very long one. I'm still gonna upload Sonic. This is just gonna be the Ratchet and Clank playthrough. It's probably gonna be a uh, weekend thing. But I may upload like two parts a day. Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking about uploading two parts a day of Ratchet and Clank. And the Sonics will probably be the whole week. So when I actually finish Sonic, I could just go back and like give Ratchet and Clank its uh, weekday premise. And then go back and do another game. Like this, this, this will work out in the end. I got a feeling it's, I'll make time to do all this. It's gonna work out. But like right now, since I'm doing the Sonics and I gotta get those out the way, those will be strictly weeks. And since I have Fridays off my job, I would just uh, I do Ratchet and Clank Friday, Saturday, and uh, Sunday, or any other randomized video I plan on doing. But this is actually it's gonna be a playthrough. You know, because like I said, is it variety is the spice of life. And if you don't have variety, what you got? Oh yeah, I got an annoying habit of uh, throwing my wrench when it's not needed to, so you might actually have to get used to that. Ah, little punks. Oh yeah, sure, you gotta get to your uh, program designation, designation area to hit me. Oh, you tired, really? <laughs> you spray your little electricity cum and you instantly get tired. Oh wow, you need some help. I love this game. Uh, I bet. I think I need some, yeah, I need some health. Keep it on the safe side. I don't plan on dying. I got four smacks, then I'm dead. Alrighty, cutscene. Where's Clank? There he is. Clank being raped for the win. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio. Right, like I put the uh, subtitles on. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens. <laughs> My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drek, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which <laughs> really possibly understand. We will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But of course, you dick, you like a dick, dude. Thank you for your cooperation.
separation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... He's one of the best villains ever, dude. Off, you idiot. The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this info bot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. Scanning. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Didn't even know who that was in the beginning of in the beginning of me recording. Well, when I was like 14. So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. 14 to 15. The steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. <laughs> Why, well, this gonna be the longest video. about that well we're not leaving the way we came in perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants there are any left if there are any left all right guys we'll stop there let's load and i'll see you guys on part two of the ratchet and clank playthrough